good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we do have our february's edition of the mdt monthly battle royal but this time guys we are spicing it up a little bit i believe i posted my first ever mdt battle royal 55 man mdt battle royal in march of 2018 i do believe was it march 5th 2018 i can't i can't remember guys but I think it was specifically March 5th, and that is a week away. And since we're coming up on the year anniversary of the MDT Battle Royal, I figured why not do a Champions Edition, a, a Championship MDT Battle Royal between all of the champions that have ever won the coveted MDT Battle Royal Champion. Before we get into it, though, I do want to run through a bit of the history of the MDT Battle Royal right here. We have the first ever champion, Brock Lesnar. Of course, he did win the first ever MDT Battle Royal. Then Batista dethroned Brock Lesnar. Even though Brock Lesnar went to the finals of that second ever, trying to be the first one ever to not only win an MDT Battle Royal, but retain it. And then uh, he would end up winning it back in the third one. So Brock won the first one, Batista took it from him, and then Brock came back and won the third one ever. Finn Balor would then be the fourth champion, Luke Harper the fifth, Seth Rollins the sixth, Hulk Hogan the seventh, Jack Gallagher the eighth. Pennywise was the ninth, but then he, um, that was for the Horror and MDT Battle Royal Championship, so not only did he win that, but we did have a rematch. Everybody said that Jack Gallagher was cheated, so we did a rematch, and then Jack Gallagher not only won the Battle Royal title, but the Horror, so it was Jack Gallagher, then Pennywise, then back to Jack Gallagher. Then we went back to Finn Balor. As, and he would be the second one ever to uh, win two of them. And then he would be the first ever to retain it in December's editions. He won November's edition, retained it in December. And then in January of 2019, Tommaso Ciampa, your current MBT Battle Royal Champion, did win it in January. And here we are today in the Championships version. So what we're going to do is put all these men in the ring. And we are going to conduct the Champions version. And we're going to see who uh, the MBT Battle Royal Champion is moving forward. And after this... This. We will go back to our annual 55 man. Maybe next year I can do another Champions Edition and we'll have 12 more people to add and 12 more people to add. And then over the years we can add more and more people to the Championships Edition. Obviously we had some repeat winners so we didn't get to actually add 12 total. But uh, anyways guys, let's get into this and let's start our Battle Royal. Alright guys, so I've loaded the ring up with all of our champions here. We got Finn Balor, Pennywise, Jack Gallagher, Luke Harper, Hulk Hogan, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, and Batista. And of course our current champion, Champa here, but uh, of course the rules of the Battle Royal are as follows. If you guys have not watched any of our Battle Royals, I highly recommend you go back and check out the MDT Battle Royal playlist and watch every single one of them before you come up in here because we cover the ground rules. You'll see the history of the MDT Battle Royal and everything like that. So usually if you get put out on the first swipe, you can't compete in the next months, but since this is a special edition, that will not be a rule of the Battle Royal. Two feet must hit the ground, so uh, I don't think we have... Okay, Luke Harper, his pants will count, and I think that uh, Hulk Hogan may have a special rule. But anyways, we usually go with, you know, the tips of your toes. If somebody like Luke Harper, they have pants, legs, um, sometimes their feet cannot touch the ground, and uh, so sometimes we have to go based off the bottoms of their pants cuffs, or uh, people with pants would win every single battle royal. So we have to, you know, make special rules there. The third rule being that the champion has an advantage. He will be inserted on the next swipe. So he will be ineligible to compete on this first swipe because uh, it's a champion's advantage, you know what I'm saying? He gets inserted on the second swipe to prevent him from being eliminated from the following battle royal and to ensure that he has some sort of advantage going into this thing. So let's go ahead and get started with swipe number one. Gonna go ahead and move the champion out of the way here so he doesn't get smacked. And let's go for swipe number one. All right, guys, going to be interesting here to see who is eliminated. So the first man I notice, guys, is going to be Brock Lesnar, but I don't think he's eliminated at all. His right foot is off the ground, so Brock Lesnar always being a competitor, guys. He always competes to the very end. He was the first ever champion. He was in the semifinals of the second Battle Royal, and then he won the championship the third time, and he's trying to win this championship edition. Look at him hanging on here. It will be safe, and he is going in the ring. We got Batista. Batista was the second ever champion, and it looks like he is safe. His left foot is off the ground there. Seth freaking Rollins hanging on. He landed on top of Hulk Hogan and Seth Rollins will continue. So we got some nice guys in the finals already moving on here. 
It does look like Hulk Hogan is off the ground. His feet are not touching the ground, guys. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I don't know how we're going to eliminate this man, but his feet are not touching the ground. So Hulk Hogan cannot be eliminated, and it's going to be interesting to see if Storm, Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan will survive on to the next round here. Next up, we've got Jack Gallagher, the current MDT Horror Champion. I think he is eliminated, Jack Gallagher. I think he may be the weakest champion we have. Um, out of all the big names, I think he may be the weaker one, but uh, he will be eliminated first here today. Jack Gallagher is eliminated. It looks like Luke Harper may also be eliminated. Let's go over here to this other angle to make sure that we uh, we see if he is eliminated here. Yes, he is. He is eliminated. So Luke Harper will be eliminated and the bottom of his pants cuffs are touching and I think both feet are touching too. And even if they aren't touching, his feet, foot isn't touching here, the bottoms of his pant cuffs are touching. He's at that angle there and he will be gone. One thing I will mention though is Finn Balor is safe. He is currently on top of Pennywise. I'm going to see if I can move. Um, well, I guess we could just take both of these guys out because we know Luke Harper's gone and Finn Balor is safe. But what about Pennywise over here? Pennywise's feet are not touching, but I don't know if his feet ever will touch. Guys, look at the bottoms of his pants cuffs, though. Bottoms of the pant cuffs are touching, therefore he is eliminated. Pennywise will be eliminated because cannot give him special rules. All the people with pants have to be treated equally. And that does it for the first swipe, guys. We had three eliminations. So now we have all of these men and, of course, our current champion, Tommaso Ciampa. All right, guys, moving on to swipe number two. Again, we do have the five men in the ring, but we have our MDT Battle Royal champion, Tommaso Ciampa, going to take the title off him, set it over here in the ring somewhere, and we're going to add him. So we're going to have six. We're down to the final six here. Of course, we had our first three eliminations last time. And here we go, guys. We're going to swipe here and see if we can crown a new champion on this swipe, or maybe we'll go a few more, but let's see. All right. It looks like Seth Rollins is safe, guys. The left foot is off the ground there, so Seth Rollins will be safe. Got to make sure I don't eliminate him or anything like that. Uh, what else we got here? Finn Balor. It looks like Finn Balor always surfing on top of people, guys. He surfed on Pennywise last round. This round he lands on Brock and Batista, so him and Seth Rollins will be safe. We'll see that SummerSlam rematch there going into the next swipe. We have Brock Lesnar again surviving. What a champion there. The two-time champ moving on to the finale. We got Batista, guys, and it looks like Batista is gone. Both feet hitting here. He returns to Monday Night Raw and assaults Ric Flair, but he cannot return to the MDT Championship Battle Royal and assault the competition. He will be eliminated there. And it looks like our current champion, Tommaso Ciampa, lands on top of Hulk Hogan and will be safe. And Hulk Hogan, the Storm Collectibles Hogan, will be eliminated. So Ciampa will be safe and Hulk Hogan is gone. We had two eliminations there on the second swipe. All right, guys, we're down to the final four and this is actually going to get interesting because Brock Lesnar is a two-time champ. Finn Balor is a two-time champ. He's the current champ. Seth Rollins has been champion before. So we got four epic competitors here. Two two-time champions in this hoe. Finn Balor, the only one to ever retain. Well, Tommaso Ciampa joined that company. A lot of storylines going into this third swipe. Could be the final one, guys. It's going to be interesting to see who survives here. Let's go with our next swipe. Oh, crapsies, guys. Oh, crapsies. What do we got down here? It looks like Tommaso Ciampa lands on top of Seth Rollins and our current champion is still alive. And Seth Rollins, my man Seth Rollins, will be eliminated here in the MDT Battle Royal. But first of all, Finn Balor again. Another round, another body part on top of another competitor to stay alive. The two-time champion is very reluctant here to land on top of another competitor such as Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar looks to be eliminated, guys. He looks like both feet are touching. And yes, Brock Lesnar will be eliminated. So our finale, our finals will be Finn Balor, our first ever to retain the championship and our two-time winner. And then he will go on with Tommaso Ciampa, who is competing to try and retain that MDT Battle Royal Championship. Guys, let's go into the finals. All right, guys, we are into the finals. We have Finn Balor competing for his third ever MDT Battle Royal Championship. Tommaso Ciampa trying to become the second man ever to retain the title in a Battle Royal. And we got we got some good story going on here, guys. Will Finn Balor be the first ever three-time champion? We're going to have to see. I have my phone here. I'm going to set it over here off to the side on slow-mo cam so we can can see who hits first and I'm going to try to keep this final elimination on screen and we we'll give a little tapsy see if we can find out who the winner is and hopefully we can crown ourselves our champion based off of this here but uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up this phone and we're going to continue with the final swipe of the battle royal all right guys here we go 
All right, they totally both hit. Uh, they're they're definitely. I'm pretty sure both men are eliminated. Let's go ahead and make sure because if one of them is not, then uh, we're gonna have to go to surveillance anyways, and you know, video instant replay here. But both men are touching, and we're gonna have to go to instant replay to find out who won this battle royal. Who is the ultimate champion of the MDT battle royal? Will it be the man who walked in with the championship and Tommaso Ciampa, or will it be the man who just lost the championship and Finn Balor and become our Third, our first ever three-time champ. Let's go to the instant replay. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the instant replay, and I feel like I know who wins here, but I just want to show you guys here. You can see that Tommaso's foot, his right foot hits first, and you'll see Finn come in shortly after, and then you'll see, I, I'm pretty sure Ciampa hits first, man. I think his left foot comes down a little bit sooner there than Finn Balor's. It's very close. Maybe I can put it in there where we can super, super slow-mo it here. Um, in the editing software, but I know there's not a clear shot of Ciampa coming down, but you can clearly see him bounce up first over Finn Balor, and I think that we have our first ever three-time champion in Finn Balor. I don't think Ciampa's going to retain here, as you guys can see over and over here. Yeah, I think uh, that's good enough for me, Brad. I think Ciampa hits right, hits left, then Finn comes down. And uh, that pretty much does it for the MDT Championship Collector's Edition of the MDT Battle Royal. We're going to take Finn Balor here, plant the championship on him. And Finn Balor, your first ever three-time champion. So he has the most reigns. He has, uh, he's been one of the only ones to ever retain. I think he's the first ever and only ever to retain. So Finn Balor, just a great competitor here in the MDT Battle Royal. I'm excited for him. Congratulations to Finn Balor. Hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the Championships Edition of this battle royal we had all the former champions come back enter the battle royal i hate we didn't have 55 men that that kind of sucks i wish that we had more people to compete but that means we have to have more people win we got to have more people we can't have you know people like finn balor winning all the time i mean it's not my fault they keep winning i mean what do you want me to do you want me to rig the thing no you want it to be official and that's just what happens so thank you guys for watching the championship edition of the mdt battle royal thank you for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and congratulations to Finn Balor.